Mamata Parohit and I'm here to take you through a short but intense Pilates routine. So I hope you're ready for it. But before we start, I just want to mention a few really important things in order to stay healthy. One, of course, is your exercise regime. Another very, very important part of staying healthy is drinking enough water and staying hydrated. It is essential. Third, of course, is your nutrition. So make sure you eat well, eat healthy. I always say don't think about eating less, but eating enough of the right things. And fourth is your rest. Don't forget to rest. That's also a very important part of your fitness regime. So I hope you're ready for a Pilates routine. Few things to keep in mind, of course, is that you always work through the core. So make sure you have your core nice and engaged, abdominal muscles pulled in, pelvic floor muscles pulled out, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, through first lips. So like you're blowing off a candle, of course, core engaged. So abdominal muscles pulled in, pelvic floor pulled up. Very, very, very important. So I can't emphasize it enough. And try and stay in your neutral position so your hip bones and your pubic bone lie in the same plane. So if there's a slight curve in your back, that's fine. Especially when we're doing crunches, make sure you're not rocking. Ready? Let's go. We're gonna start lying down on the mat. With our feet hip distance apart, core engaged, make sure you come to your neutral position. From there, exhale to just warm up, which is gonna lift the hips up and inhale down, exhale up, two, inhale down, keep it going, I'm going to check how many calories we burn, three, in this short but intense workout, exhale up, four, last one, exhale up, five, stay there and now slowly just pulse it up, so one, Two, glutes please, core engage. Three, four, five, six. Make sure your knees are not falling out. Keep it parallel. Eight, nine, core engage. Ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Come back to your neutral, hip bone, pubic bone on the same line. It's okay if there's a slight gap between your back and the ground. Hands in your head, we're going to start with the ab prep. Exhale, crunch up. Look at your knees when you come up. Inhale down. Make sure you're not pushing your neck. Come up through the core. Exhale up. Two. Inhale down. Don't rock the pelvis, so don't lift your glutes up. Stay neutral. Three. Exhale. So only coming up, thinking you're squeezing a pencil under your ribcage. Five. Exhale. Six. Seven. Inhale down. Exhale up. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five more. Five. Core engage, keep breathing, exhale up, four, inhale down, don't rock the pelvis, three, two more, two, last one, stay up, hold it there and pulse, small pulses, one, two, so just staying up, three, four, moving to the core, five, six, stay stable, seven, three, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and release. Straighten your right leg on the ground. Exhale, come up into crunch and bring the right leg up to tabletop. And inhale back down. Both things together. Exhale to come up. Inhale down. Two. Still make sure you're not rocking. Exhale up. Three. Inhale down. Exhale. Four. Five, keep going. Six, inhale down, exhale up. Seven, core engage. Eight, two more. Nine, ten. Keeping it there, now bring your right leg straight up and your left leg up to tabletop and at the same time crunch. Ready? Let's go. Exhale up. One, 
Inhale down, core engaged. Exhale, two. Don't use momentum. Three, engage through the core and then lift up. Four. Five, so your lower abdominals are also firing this. Six. Exhale. Seven. Three more. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Stay up. Ten. Switch legs. Straighten your left. Bend your right. One. Keep going. Two. Ten times. Three. Breathe. Exhale. Four. Stabilize. Five. No rocking of the hip bone. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And eight. Ready to even out. Straighten your left leg. Core engaged. Exhale. Bring the left leg up and crunch up. One. Exhale to come up. Two. Three. Keep breathing. Exhale. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Breathe. Exhale up. Eight. Two more. Nine. Remember, form is very important, so don't rock. Ten. Both legs coming up. Let's fire those abdominals. Exhale up. Ten. Inhale down. Exhale. Nine. Eight. Crunch. Seven. Make sure you're not moving through the neck. Use the core. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, last one, stay up and switch leg ten times, ten, keep your core engaged, nine, stabilize, eight, no hurry, seven, it doesn't have to be quick, six, five, focus on the core, four, three, two, and one, release, awesome, I'm sure that got your core fired up. Now we're going to head to the glutes a little bit. So hand under your head, legs straight, core engaged. You can keep your hand down for support if you need. Always say maintain a little squirrel hold. So there's a gap between your core and the ground. That's because you're squeezing your glutes and pulling your abdominal muscles in. Flex your feet. Exhale, lift the top leg up. Inhale down one. The more you squeeze your glutes, the less high you'll be able to go and that's fine too. Three, so it's really not about just kicking it up. Exhale, four, slowly. Squeeze your glute. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, stay up. And pulse. One, small. Two, three, still engage. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and circle. One, no rocking. Two, stay engaged. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. We're going to work the inner thighs a bit. So place the top leg forward, flex the bottom leg, and exhale, lift up, inhale down, one. Two, exhale up, three, focus on the inner thigh, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, stay up, ten, and pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, work it, eight, squeeze, nine, ten, 
टेन नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू स्टे दैर स्मॉल सर्कल फाइव इंच वे टू मन फाइव फोर कीप इट हाई थ्री स्टिल मैन डेरिंग दैट्स फॉर यू मोर टू वन एंड रिवर्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू एंड वन यू बी सो वी वर्क द एब्डक्टर्स एज वेल एज द एब्डक्टर्स नाउ लेट्स चेन साइड कमिंग डाउन स्क्वीज योर ग्लूट्स और एंगेज फ्लेक्स योर फीट एंड लिफ्ट अप वन एक्सहेल टू Three, four, five, six. Maintain. Let's squeeze. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five. Four. Engage. Breathe. Four. Inhale through your nose. Exhale up through your mouth. Three, two. Stay up and pulse. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Circle. Try not to rock. Eight. Exhale. Seven. Power in your obliques as well. Six. You can keep your hand for support if you need. Five. Exhale. Four. Three. Two and reverse. Eight, seven, six, five. I feel those abductors. Four. We work in the sides. Three, two, and one. Release. Place the top foot forward. Flex the bottom leg. Working through the abductor, the inner thigh. Lift up. One. Exhale up. Two. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it up and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, three, six, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. To hold their circle, one. All these exercises work as much as you work, two. So you have to maintain that squeeze. Three. It's all about the form. Four and five. Reverse. Five. Working the stabilizers, the deeper muscles. Four. Three and the small muscles. Two and one. Huh. I felt my ass. That's good. Let's get into some back work. So lie down on your mat on your stomach. For now, you can place your hands under your forehead and just look down. Knees apart. Bend your knees. Get your heels together. So heels are together, toes apart, knees apart. Head starts down. You exhale. Just lift the knees up. Inhale down. One. So working the glutes. Hamstring as well as a little bit of the lower back. So exhale up, inhale down. Two. It's called the heel squeeze prone. So the more you squeeze your heels together, really squeeze your heels together, the more you're gonna feel it. Three. Exhale up. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight. Squeeze your heels together as much as you can. So now keep that going. Lift your heels up and down. Like if someone is there, they shouldn't be able to take that apart. Let's do two more. Two and one. Now I want you to come up on your elbows, and we're going to do the same thing. Exhale, lift up and down. One. That's just going to intensify it a bit. Two, squeeze your heels together. Three, four, five. Just a little movement. Six, seven, eight. Two more. Nine. Squeeze those glutes. Ten. 
stay up and hold for five. Four squeeze your heels, three, two, and one, release. Going into the swimming, so hands stay up overhead, nose hovering, glute squeeze. Lift your right hand, left leg up, one. Other side, two, try not to rock the body. Three, engaging the back, glutes, hamstring, shoulders. <laughs> Keep going. Let's go slow first for four more reps. Four. Three. Two. One. Can we increase the pace? One. Two. Non stop. Three. Four. Squeeze in your glute. Five. Try not to rock. Six. Seven. Call. Engage. Eight. Breathe. Nine. Ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Release. Sit back in a shell stretch for a second. Now that we work the back, just release and slowly go up. Awesome. Come up. We're gonna go into a kneeling squat. So feet stay on the ground. Glutes squeeze, core engage. Exhale, sit back. And up, both in the quads, squeezing the glutes. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Try and keep your weight over your glutes. Two. Just sit back. And up. Three. Four. Three. Five. Six. Seven, keep breathing. Squeeze your glutes. Eight, the more you squeeze, the more you intensify for yourself. Nine, stay there and pulse for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, quads, five, four, three, two, and release. Come back up. Come up into a plank. We're going to do knee to elbow. So right knee, right elbow, but slow, not fast. Ready? In. One, make sure your hands are under your shoulders. Two, core engage. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, working through the core. Ten, arms are stabilizing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Release. Come back to the kneeling position. We're going to go into the hinge. So lean back and come back up. One. Literally hinging from the knee. Glute squeeze. Two. Feeling those quads. Engage it. Three. Engaging glutes and core. Four, five, six, breathe, seven, eight, keep going, two more, nine, core engage, hold it there for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and up. <laughs> Going into knee to opposite elbow. So now you're firing up the obliques a bit as well. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders. Come up into a plank. Let's go. One, two. There's a slight rotation in the hip. Three, four, five, six, three, seven. Eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Last but not the least, we're gonna hold a plank on our elbows just for 30 seconds. Make sure you really keep your core engaged. 
and pull your pelvic floor up. The more you engage, the better you're going to feel. Are we ready? In two and one, hold. Make sure your bum is not up or down. Stay in neutral. Keep pulling your abdominal muscles in, pelvic floor muscles up. The more you pull it in, the more you're going to feel it. Come on. 20 seconds up, 10 to go. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And one release. Sit back in a shell stretch. Hold it there. And slowly roll up. We're just going to do the cat stretch as well, just to release the body. Exhale up. And inhale, open up into an extension. Exhale up. And inhale, extend. And last time. Exhale up. And inhale. this quick intense Pilates workout and really understood the form, how to engage the core and just fire it up. Even these few exercises are broken out into a sweat so they are pretty intense. You have to just make sure you engage your abdominal muscles, engage your glutes and focus on the muscles like, that you're working like the adductors, abductors. Think about it, squeeze it, work on it. I always say it's not about how much you do, like it's not about the quantity, but about the quality. So yes, form is the key. And of course, we've done a couple of repetitions, but hopefully this has helped you maybe learn some new exercises or work on the form or just really up the routine a bit. And you can add these to your routine, increase the repetitions and you will be good to go. I really hope you enjoyed it. Before I sign off, I really want to just emphasize how it's really important to stay well hydrated. You know, throughout the day, our body needs the water. So stay well hydrated, drink enough water, eat well, don't eat less, eat enough, rest well, of course, and work out. Train smart, okay? It's about training smart. And like I always say, don't forget to kiss, which is keep it safe, simple, and smart.